Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. Today we're going to be jumping into this mower and uh, cutting some of our grass here around the different fields that we've got. Uh, we came to the realization last episode that all of our grass is actually at a full growth stage here. And so we can go ahead and uh, get mowing on some of this so that it can be drying out to make some hay. If we take a look at the weather here, you can see today we've got good drying potential and tomorrow we're also going to get good drying potential here on uh, the farm. And so it makes sense to get this mower out and uh, start cutting some of this grass. We're going to need quite a bit of hay uh, at different stages for different things here on the farm. And quite honestly, I'm just looking for an excuse to use this mower. So I think what we're going to do is mow the area between the contours. And so I'm going to go ahead and head all the way out to the far end here. We're going to start with that grass out on the edge of our property and work our way back in. I don't expect this is going to take too long. Uh, the header on this mower is a little narrow. Um, I know in real life there's actually a wider uh, mowing head on this, but the machine itself has a pretty high working speed. This is the recently released W200 series from Polycount, and uh, it's a mod I've shown off a few times, uh, but this is the finally released version of it, which is looking mighty snazzy here. So we're going to come right out here to the edge of this other field. I believe all of this grass area here is our property. Let's just take a quick look here at the uh, purchase map. We own all of this area, including all this area back here. We could probably mow for grass as well, it looks like. But we're going to start here along the field edge and uh, just mow what we've got here. So we're going to get everything started up. We're going to lower our head. And off we go. So one of the downsides to this uh, area of the map, though, is that we will not be able to use uh, a worker or course player or anything to do this particular job because it is not set up as a field, at least not at this point. There is a new version of this map that has finally been released. So for those that... Uh, aren't following Dennis Farms Facebook page he has now officially released this map to the public and so if you're looking to get your hands on Autumn Oaks you're able to do that at this stage by heading over to his Facebook page and checking out the posts that he made so I think my plan is to follow this section all the way around the outside of these fields and uh, get as much grass out of this area as we can I am not, however, going to jump over the road here and go do that back section at this point. I'm going to focus on just getting this field section done, and we'll mow each section individually. That way, if we need to take a break and go do another job, we have the flexibility to do that. Ideally, we'd like to get all of our grass cut today. However, that's looking like it might be quite a job for us. And so we may stretch this out over the next couple of days. We'll have to see how far we get here. We also need to decide at what point we're going to purchase some additional animals for the farm. I think my goal is over the course of the first year here to expand the herd to uh, 50 animals. And so we're, we're at 22 right now to start with, but I'd really like to see us get some additional animals on the farm here. I just don't, didn't want to get them all on the same day. I wanted to kind of spread that out a little bit so that uh, we don't end up with 50 calves all on the same day as well. We don't have that much room in our barns at this stage. And this part of the field's relatively straight, so we're actually going to attempt to set up a GPS course here, make our lives just a little bit easier. And we should be able to just follow this along all the way up to the other end of the field. We realigned our course here. I think this is going to work out. And I'm loving this interior view on this mower. It's working out really good for us here so far. All right, so we have finished doing the up and down rows here for the straight part on our uh, GPS. 
And so now we're going to be doing this little bit that's left up here by hand. As you can see, our hand-driven row is not quite as straight as the GPS rows, but we're getting there. It's uh, not exactly a straight area either. There's a bit of a curve here with the way the field lines up. Realistically, maybe I would have just uh, set a straight path and not tried to follow the contour of the field so closely. I'm not really sure. I guess realistically, if I was a farmer, I'd be trying to uh, mow every inch of uh, grass that we've got, get as much hay as possible here out of the land available to us. I'm not sure how much hay we're going to need yet at this point, and so I'm really, you know, kind of trying to maximize everything that we can here in this first year while we get a better understanding of what our farm is going to need to operate. I'd rather have too many bales than too few, I'm certain. So, whoa, the turning on this thing is just a smidge touchy. I'm getting used to it though. I've never actually driven one in real life. Actually seems like it would be kind of fun. It might get boring after a while, but it seems like it'd be a nice machine. Uh, especially with the nice small cab here. Most of the um, hay cutting that I did when I was younger, I did on a really old open cab tractor. So it was, you know, 80 degrees out and you were in direct sunlight, sweating like crazy while you mowed grass. So this would be living in the life of luxury here with such a uh, nice cab and everything around you. Keep the dust and the heat off. Uh, especially if the air conditioner was working, you could uh, listen to some tunes or an audiobook while you cut. Wouldn't be too bad for at least a few days until, you know, you might get bored after a, a few days of this. But living the life I do, I wouldn't mind taking a break from uh, all of the chaos for a couple of days and just mowing. Oh my goodness, this thing turns. So we're on the final round here. The header goes down slower than I anticipate, so I've got to learn to be just a little bit more patient on waiting for the header to lower before we start into a row. But looking at this field, we're going to get quite a few bales, especially since we have a small baler. So that's exciting. We've got to figure out if the... Uh, barn hayloft is going to actually take all of these bales once we start making them so that's still kind of an open question for me and honestly I have to update the map to the latest version of the map that Dennis Farms put out I haven't had a chance to do the update yet so even though it is publicly released now we're running on a version that's a few versions back actually uh, he sent me a couple of updates and while I've taken a look at the updates offline i haven't had a chance to upload them into the save because i believe they did require a start and or changes to the xml files to get everything uh kind of set up and uh working so we're gonna have to sort that out here at some point but in the meantime we're gonna move over here and start cutting the next section now i'm just looking back here we've got this huge area of grass we may actually have to figure out in course play how to set that up as a field so that we can use course play for our mowing because otherwise uh, this is going to take a fair amount of time and I'm not sure we want to do all of our grass mowing manually every time it's kind of fun for the first few times but this is definitely a job that a worker could help us out with and I'm going to get around this corner here, and then we're just going to double check. I'm 99% sure the worker isn't going to do anything here because it's not set up as a field. Yeah, so no worker available for this section. Not a surprise. And so we do have the ability to use GPS, though, especially on these straight parts, uh, which makes it a little bit easier. So... We'll use GPS, we'll tackle these uh, three grass parts here in between these fields and get this first batch of hay at least uh, cut and drying here. 
So we're once again on the last of the long straight rows here. The GPS is serving us really well in this part of the field. And we're kicking up a ton of dust. It must be pretty dry out here. You can see that it's got kind of a sandy dirt texture here underneath the grass. So definitely not the highest quality soil here under our grass. And so we're going to go ahead and wrap up this little bit here on the curve. It looks like we've got probably one more round here on this spot. And that's going to be the first two of many sections here. Actually, if we look at the map here, you can see we've done this one section, the second section. We've got two more smaller sections here. And then we've got, you know, a big section of grass up here. One, two, three, four five more big sections of grass just in the contours. And then we've got this huge field up here as well. So we're going to be able to get a lot of hay here, a lot more hay than we need for, I think, just the cows that we've got right now. And so I'm kind of thinking maybe we'll just do these front sections here for the first cut and we'll wait a bit and do a full cut a little bit later in the year uh, since we don't really need that much hay right now to get started. Uh, we're going to be making haylage out of the alfalfa and triticale here as we get into the summer here in a, a few more weeks. And I think that that's going to go into most of our TMR feed for the dairy cows and the heifers and probably the calves during the winter. The calves are probably going to drink milk or milk replacer and the heifers are going to be the only thing that we really have to worry about feeding hay over the winter, I think. But I could be wrong. In fact, if we bring up the animal menu here and even looking at the free stall barn, which is where all of our milking cows are going to go, we do need the uh, the grass slash silage here. We're going to need the cracked corn. We're going to need the, you know, ground feed and such. But we do have a hay line here. And so since we haven't had any of the cows come in here that we're going to feed that more advanced food to yet, I'm not sure if it's going to fill that hay section or not using some of the haylage or how that's going to work when we start making the feed and feeding them. I would have expected that's all we had to do, but we might still need to feed them hay separately. So we're going to go ahead and finish cutting these two uh, smaller sections uh, heading towards the road here just to get started. And then, like I said, we'll come back and do a more complete cutting. I think a little bit later in the year, we are uh, starting out with a smaller farm here. If we had a full 150 milking cows right now we i may be a little bit more concerned about stockpiling that hay i think that this is going to be enough to get us started here in the spring and we'll see how things continue here over the next few days the grass also could go to one more stage of growth here and be this darker orange i think you get a little bit more yield out of grass when it's in different harvest stages i can't recall it's been so long since i did uh grass work here but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. All right, we're coming up here on our final round or final pass, I guess I should say. Once we get turned around here, this field ended up being a little bit more even than some of the other ones that we've done uh, in that the little curved bit up here at the top wasn't that much wider than the rest of the field. So we're gonna go ahead and grab GPS. Oh, we missed a smidge. Uh, and finish this last pass and then we've got the narrow strip over here between the field and the road that's going to go really quick here for us with uh, GPS especially and so I can officially say this is probably my favorite self-propelled mower that I've used in farm sim I've enjoyed mowing with this quite a bit and I think the only piece of feedback that I gave to Polly Count Taz when we were talking about it was it would be awesome if we could get the wider header for it uh, because that is a lot more common in the areas that I've seen these out in the fields and so I don't know I don't want to put words in his mouth but it did sound like it's something that they've considered doing at some point here so hopefully one day when we see an update to the mod we may see a wider header on this which would be awesome 
either way, like I said, this has been one of my favorite uh, mowing experiences, and uh, if you've been a member of the channel for any period of time, you know that I don't really like mowing uh, in farm sim that much. I don't tend to like a lot of grass work, but this has been uh, this has been fun. So we're going to take this strip. It looks like we've got probably, I'm going to guess, three or four rounds to do here on this uh, little grass strip. And I think we're going to call that good on grass work for this part of the season. I do want to advance the clock and get into our planting season here real quick. We've done our seeding already for the triticale and the alfalfa. I think we also put some oats or something in on the other field so we're gonna get over here we're gonna let gps kind of help us hug the road here looks like things are gonna line up perfectly for us which is always much appreciated and i'm seeing we've got this big field here that we want to put some corn in and then i think we decided this strip to our left is gonna be the silage corn so we'll probably start off getting the regular corn in the ground first uh, since the silage corn we have a bit more flexibility of when we chop that we want to chop it while it's still green anyway and so we want to make sure we get our corn in the ground and growing at the appropriate time here and so i think that's what we're going to prioritize here as we jump into planting is getting our field of corn actually going here now, if we had the ability to hire a worker, I probably would have done the first couple of fields here and then hired a worker and uh, gone and started planting while the worker was cutting grass here. But since that's not currently an option for us, maybe we'll have to look into setting up field boundaries with course play uh, so that course play can handle running on some of these sections without us. Uh, I'm thinking especially for this big back section here, it might make sense for us to uh, figure out how to set course play up up there to do our grass work. So stay tuned for that in a future episode in this series. And another thing that I'm just remembering that we've got a handful of rocks out here that we've left scattered throughout this field. And so we're going to have to go grab our tractor with the front loader bucket i guess and come pick up some of these rocks so that we don't uh, cause a bunch of damage to our planter when we try to come through here and plant we kicked up a handful of rocks here during uh, tillage in this field so we're going to continue to play with that rocky fields mod i'm having a blast with that um, the only part that i didn't like is it looks like our rocks kind of got hung up in the tillage machine and all got dumped on the end of the fields which is not very realistic it might be a little bit easier for us to pick them all up here uh, in this season but uh, i would prefer to see those continue to be scattered out in the different parts of the field but we're all done mowing here so we're gonna run this back up to the yard and go grab that uh tractor with the bucket on it we can't forget to wash this thing off it got pretty dirty out there it was pretty dusty got to keep this equipment looking clean it is brand new we don't want uh, anything wearing out too quick on us here all right so we're gonna get the shed all opened up here and get this front loader tractor out here and I've got the bucket sitting out in the yard here. We'd actually not bought a bucket yet from a uh, farm sim save game perspective. So we're gonna go grab the bucket here real quick. So we've got our bucket all hooked up here and I have updated the Rocky Fields mod. There's been a number of improvements to the mod since the version that I was originally using. And if we turn our HUD on here, I should be able to see the toggles for auto load and so all I've got to do is uh, push right control L and you can see that now RF auto load is enabled. So that means that we can use the easier mode here of pulling up here next to a rock with our bucket and it's going to automatically load up here into the bucket for us which is kind of handy. You do have to, whoops, 
you do have to have the bucket in a position that it would normally accept the item uh, where if I had a trailer I could just drive around with the trailer uh, right next to this but I thought this was kind of the better trade-off here because it feels like I'm actually having to scoop up rocks you know get out and muscle a rock into the bucket uh, I do like that they bounce around in here there's an ability to lock the rocks in there so they're not bouncing around if you're you know say driving them down the road or something and so this has been a really fun mod to use here for this and like I said earlier for us it's super convenient because all of the rocks for the most part are here on the end of the field due to the way that our tillage tool worked with them I'm curious to see if that works a little bit better with the new version I know Thundar had mentioned something about the way that uh, rocks fall out of the back of the implement in one of his patch notes and so I'm going to kind of hold off on worrying about it I was thinking about maybe changing our tillage implement to something that would work a little bit better but I'm gonna hold off on doing anything until I get a chance to try it out now I am gonna lock these rocks you can see now they're not moving anymore and while the containers are locked though it means that I can't pick up any more rocks and so I will have to unlock the container and then turn auto load back on in order to pick up rocks again so that's something for uh, people who are just kind of starting off using this mod to realize whenever you lock it you're gonna have to reset the um, auto auto load option afterwards I see I've got one rock over there to pick up and I think I've got a handful on the end of the field here so we're gonna just run down the rows here to the end of the field or pick up all these rocks and then we're gonna have to figure out where to uh, put our rock pile here so I believe this is the last rock in this big field here we're just gonna pick the rocks in this field at the moment since this is the first field that we do want to plant there we go we've got them all scooped up here and I think the rock pile is probably gonna go right over here by between these trees I don't really envision us doing anything here uh, maybe not right there though because there might be a need to drive the truck out uh, out of there at some point so maybe we'll put it kind of down in this low spot over here I'm liking that a little bit better so let's go in here I think it's under miscellaneous we've got rock pile so I'm hoping I can find a way to get it Kind of right down in here I'm having a collision with something but if I can maybe get it to spin just a little bit around here we can put it right here and it'll look somewhat natural I hope it deformed my terrain ever so slightly but this was already a bit of a crazy road so I don't think it really hurt us in any way so I'm gonna go ahead and dump all those rocks into that rock pile there to get rid of them and just like that we're in a pretty good spot so this field is now all ready for planting we're gonna be able to get out here once we move forward a day or two here in the uh, season and I guess the only thing left to do would be to uh, go pick the rocks in this other field so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head out there We'll probably do that little bit of a rock picking here off camera. And uh, we'll catch you next time for planting corn. That's all for today. Ketterk out. Oh man, we've already got our first nick in the paint. Oh, we lost one. It's getting harder now that the bucket's full. Oh, we're losing them all. All right, smoother motions here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Boom, I've got them. Lock those rocks in. Oh my goodness. They're all falling out. <laughs>